G'day folks and welcome back to Back to Basics. Well on my way to work this morning I happened upon this little community garden that I didn't know existed. I was going to a different office and uh, found this little community garden along the way and I started talking to the, uh, the person that was in the garden, it turned out to be the president of the, um, of the local community garden and just talking to her about you know, what they've got growing in the garden and why because they've got some very interesting things growing in here. And I thought it was pertinent to, uh, to talk a little bit about that on the channel today because one of the things that they said was that they've got this community garden and uh, they were planting like things like broccoli and, and those sorts of things and people in the community were just coming along and, and taking their vegetables. And that's pertinent and uh, relevant if you're planting your garden in your front yard for example or in, a, in an area where it's not secured and anyone can come in and, and um, unfortunately um, take what you what you might be spending your hard um, efforts growing. Um, so I just wanted to show you some of the things that they're growing that um, have stopped that from happening. They're growing some interesting things that are really stopping people from coming in and, and uh, taking those things because they're really not known. So just as an example, so they're growing here, um, this is um, sweet potatoes. Um, you know, most people wouldn't know that that's sweet potatoes you can eat with leaves there's also sweet potatoes growing under the ground there so people wouldn't come and steal those so if you've got a, a front yard where you think you might be able to grow a garden but you're worried about people um, stealing things sweet potatoes are a good option we've got this um, other tree here which I thought was really interesting apparently it's a Thai eggplant um, I've never seen it before but they're little edible fruits um, that they have on them that people don't really know what they are so they wouldn't really steal them um, you know they've got uh, a perennial chili plant here that I've never seen before. Interestingly also over there they've got um, sugar cane growing. Now nobody's going to come and steal that but a great, great food source. Um, so they've got lots of different things growing in this garden. Things that are a little bit exotic that people don't really know what they are. And so what it does is it actually just stops people from stealing their produce. Um, but it still gives them a good, uh, good supply of food and, and a good produce out of their garden. So just a little bit of a tip there, if you've got a front yard garden or a garden that's unsecure, um, unsecured from, from passers-by um, and you're worried about people stealing things, maybe try some things that are a little bit exotic that uh, people wouldn't really know what they are and uh, that you might be able to grow as a food source but they won't be stolen. So that's just our tip for today on Vex Basics. Think about um, what you might be able to grow that's a little bit inconspicuous to people so that um, you've got a crop growing in a space that might not be secure. Uh, thanks for joining us on Vex Basics. We'll see you next time.